Why, hello there. From a truck reporting in. I have been doing my uh, ship design video, but then this has showed up. Yesterday we had a nice game. I made a save game, and I want to share this save game with you. There were a lot of controversial discussions in the competitive community about the power level of different origins, and necrophages with a ship focus ruler uh, have been getting ahead of the curve. And this one, I could not uh, go past it. This one has been delivered by Mr. Yoshimizu. Uh, by the way, he was one of the newcomers not so long ago, but now he's able to kill almost any, if not any, veteran player. And this is what he has shown yesterday. Let me show you this. Okay, now I'm serving. Okay, imagine you are just a neighbor of this Necrophage Empire. You're just here, chilling, vibing. It's year 32. And then you have this. Yeah, you can see the fleet powers across the board. Some Pepegas have no fleets. Some of players have their ships queued. Some players uh Hive Might Empire. Someone is building. And then you have this. Situation. Situation log updated, right? You have 130 destroyers. 130 destroyers. Yes, 32. Look at this. Fleet expansion plus destroyer focus plus 10% shipbuild cost reduction from supremacy. Plus, Cap Governor, another 10%. Plus, does he have this technology? Yeah, plus 5% reduction. And let us check the design of these destroyers. Level 3 armor, level 2 shields, yellow line computers. I'd suggest that he build it against uh, enemy cruisers. Level 4 lasers, level 4 kinetics. It's not like low tier technology ships. Nah, uh uh. Imagine you're here. Imagine you're playing this Empire, right? You check it, like, okay. Where is it? Where is this Empire? Let me check. Uh, okay, this flag, where is it? Okay, you have, your, you have your cruisers, right? Oh no, destroyers. Okay, you have built 70 destroyers. And you have some destroyers in queue, I guess. Well, anyway, you prepared a star hold. You have your destroyers positioned. You feel kind of okay, because, well, you know. And then you check enemies for it. So you're like, okay, 8k. Well, that's a lot. Then you check their ships and see that there is no hull point upgrade. So with any hull point upgrade, this fleet will be even stronger. If you see a shit ton of armor shields, that means that your enemy has really high technologies, and he has equipped his ships with uh, pricey components, pricey armor and shields. You're like, okay, I guess this is one of the two fleets, right? And this is another fleet coming. And then you hover your mouse and see this. Like, wait a minute. Uh, wait, how much is that? 35? Like 62? 96? Wait. Wait. It's 130 destroyers? What? Uh, what? And then you calculate the power and see that it's 31k. Year 32. And you're like, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, if you're in this position, the only thing you can do is just... <laughs> this is it. <laughs> you're not going to fight it. There is no way. So, yeah. I guess we have a new record. And man, this is kind of disgusting. Like, uh, Yoshimizu definitely played really well to build this type of fleet. Like this fleet with this naval capacity. Yeah, he has ruined his economy in the end to upkeep this amount of ships. But man, 31k years, 32. 130 destroyers. It's more than some empires can dish out corvettes. Low tech Corvettes at this point, 
and you have level 4 technologies destroyers, year 32, and you have seen his technologies. This is what necrophages are capable of, and these are necrophages without technocracy. With technocracy? Oh boy, we could have seen cruisers with equivalent or higher technologies and naval capacity enough to sustain this fleet for a prolonged period of time. I guess that we are going to address this issue in the upcoming competitive mods. By the way, this is some sort of an announcement. Our tournament winner, like first ISS tournament winner Arg, has donated his winnings to the also of the competitive mod. And we have mod developer Salvor who is working at the competitive mod right now. And he has rejected this sponsor like agreement from Arg. He's just doing it for the sake of community. But we are going to address this issue with the upcoming competitive mod, and I hope that uh, we will find a way to balance all the origins. Maybe we are going to tune down Void Velos a bit. But we are definitely going to get rid of the fleet rulers, because this is something different. I have never seen something like this. Like, I have 5000 hours in Stolaris. I have never seen this level of power that one origin has. This is just ridiculous, but actually this is kind of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. And you enjoyed that you were not the neighbor of the empires that I have just shown. Anyway, peace out. See ya in the next video.